Good Monday afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Midday Kentucky. Here with David Goldman. Oh, man, Monday, here we come. Right, can you see this weather change? It's crazy. Wait, that's coming tomorrow? Oh my gosh. When she, when she posted 12 degrees on Wednesday, I'm not going to lie, I got a little scared. You? I'm over it. I'm, I'm going to Florida. Look who, yeah, call look who your you're talking to. Florida. Call your parents. Be like, my friend Dave is going to come down, stay with you guys. Just need to get out of this. My mom just got back from Florida, and she said when she got off the plane, she was like, hello, Kentucky. You're cold. Yeah, they would love to have you. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, they call me, and they're like, it's really cold today. And I'm like, how cold is it? And they're like, it's in the 60s, but I think it's going to get in the 40s tonight. I'm like, stop. 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 Lock it up. I don't want to hear it. Lock it up. Don't want to hear it. Oh. It is supposed to get really, really cold. It's frigid. I know, I know, I know you've got some magic you're about to tell us, about to shed on us, aren't you? No. With this cold weather? I whine in the weather. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. I, I don't true. drive in That's the snow. True. She's if like, it's cold, oh, snowflakes, somebody come get me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you do anything fun this weekend? There was no snow, was there? It was supposed to overnight. It, well, there was a little bit of snow, you know, nothing, nothing big. But uh, I was, I did some hot yoga this weekend. Shout out to Sterling Hot Yoga, um, and I was sweating. Okay, I'm that guy in there that's just like, like kind of like, uh, and, just like that. Yeah, pretty much like that. And uh, but it's great. It's, it's so good. It, I was, I felt so good after it. You know what I mean? Like felt just that cleanse. Yes. And detox. Yeah, and so I dropped Brandy off. And she just thought I was dropping her off. Ran to TJ Maxx, got a pair of shorts, and went back and surprised her. <laughs> she was maybe kind of creeped out when I was like, hey, hey. And she's like, oh. So, and, wait, uh, this wasn't planned? You no, just decided? No. Yeah, it was real spontaneous. Are you, do you do yoga regularly? I do it like once every two weeks, maybe. Okay, so that's semi. That's more so than I I feel I like I need to stretch. Yeah. Because I get a little, uh, you know, after yeah. proof fitness well, you comes work, in you're, here. You're a, you they, know, work, they work me You out. and your muscles, you need to work those out. Man. Keep things under control. Shout out proof fitness because April last week <laughs> had me. Shout do, outs. She had me doing those leg things. I don't know if you saw that where I was doing these like leg extensions. I was sore for like two days, so um, tomorrow she's back in the studio. Yeah, are you I'm ready, ready for, for that? Yeah, gosh, you have she's new great shorts? though. You're yeah, ready I got to my go. new shorts. <laughs> you know, it's it's good times. What'd you get into this weekend? Nothing, and no I liked it. Oh, sometimes we need that little just. All the time we need little that. Breathe, yeah. little breathe, relax. You just sit in there and just think, which is dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. All right. Well, we did talk about the weather. I don't know yep. if it's supposed to snow tomorrow. <sighs> I'm over it. Yeah, but here's something in case it does. De-icing a car sometimes can be annoying. Sometimes. How about every single <laughs> yes. time? But one man shared this Facebook hack because everything's on social media, and it's incredibly useful. Take a look as he fills a Ziploc bag with warm tap water to avoid cracking his windows, and he just glides it so effortlessly what? across the windshield. Okay. Is this is this new? Is You're this the expert. Real? Like I didn't grow up with this. I have never seen this, and I feel like my life has changed. But I feel like this has been going on for like eternity. <laughs> People have had to de-ice their windshields. Why is this new? Like what? What? Why? I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna totally record doing this because we park outside our garage, uh -huh. and why? I always start my car because my garage is filled with crazy stuff. Ooh, and that could be fun to look at. Yeah, but I'm going to totally do this and see if it works. Because if this is the answer, you know, I'm out there like, Ugh. I've got the like, you know, the little. I what don't is know, with the all the grunting today? <laughs> 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 I've got, I've got the. It's uh, like caveman what's that called? week. You know where you're? Yeah, it is like caveman a, week. A scraper. Or a credit card. Thank you, That's what our I producer, like, Miss Hannah. I have used a credit card too. Yeah. Where you're just out there carving. No, this is awful. It's but now I'm just going to be warming up tap water. So I love it. listen. All right. The I am not high maintenance, I promise. But the one thing that I have to have here <laughs> and anywhere it's cold is a garage yeah. because I don't know how to do winter weather. <laughs> I don't. I don't drive in, you it. in Colorado for yes, a couple years. And I didn't know how to there either. <laughs> I did not. So I didn't even realize that you had to de-ice de your car. Oh. I know in Colorado, like somebody came on the show and they're like, came with these bags and they're like, winter is about to start. And they were so excited. Yeah. I was like, what is all of this? <laughs> so I hopefully don't deal with this in the mornings. Oh. I do the garage and it's cleared out for the car. That's the only thing I ask for in life is a garage for the winter. Just not high maintenance at all, is she? No, mm -hmm. because you don't want me driving mm -hmm. and you don't want me dealing with That's the roads. True. That's but true. let me ask you, 
If you pour on <laughs> I'm going to just pour all this water on <laughs> that it. That cracks your windshield? No, like, I don't think you're supposed to pour it on. Yeah, because this guy talks about he. it has to be in lukewarm. The it can't be yeah, super hot. Have you ever thrown hot water in the air in the freezing cold? No. It freezes Why would you immediately. Do that? Freezes immediately. Yep. Okay, but I, I, life, so anyways, let us know if this works. I don't know why this is all of a sudden I want to see people post it on Facebook, like videos. I want live videos. But, but, like, haven't you been dealing with winter your entire life? Yes, and that is why I have a remote start on my truck. No, but yes. why, has, why has nobody in, come up with this sooner? That's my question. That's true. It's not like it's I think they have huge a new technology advance. It's, it's a plastic bag with water in it. Real fancy. All right. Real fancy. Let's move on. Let us know if you <laughs> try that tomorrow. Weddings. We love talking about weddings, right? Well, there is a lot that can go wrong at any wedding, but this one just may take the cake. For one couple in South Africa, the ceremony seemed to be going very well until, get this, the groom's girl on the side decided to show up. And she didn't just show up. She showed up in a full white bridal gown and a veil and gloves. Now, the video was posted in June of last year, but recently it went viral with over 600,000 views. And it's not clear exactly what happened before and after this video was recorded, but one can only imagine. Wow. That's all you can really say. Wow. Look at this. I mean, again, does this really make <laughs> me surprised? This is hilarious. It's a, a Look at how chill the bride is. No, she's not, because apparently later on, after in the video, the girl on the side, I guess we can call her IE mistress. Is mm -hmm. that a is yeah? That a, okay. Oh, yeah. Or girl X. We'll call her girl X. Okay. But she's not the ex, so I don't know. I'm confused now. She's just the mistress. She's the mistress. Yep. Okay, she showed up and apparently was trying to get to the bride to warn her not to marry this guy. Well, because she was also because uh, hoping she to marry she's him. She's like, because I, I got a wedding dress also, and we both can't be showing up in the same outfit. That'd be awkward. What would you do as a guest at this wedding? <laughs> I would enjoy the entertainment. I would, if I were the guest. I mean, I'd, um, if these were your friends, you'd be okay with that? No, no. Uh, I would feel I'd, I'd hide somebody. I'd be like, we need to hide this girl immediately. You know, maybe uh, what's it called? Tackle. Maybe I'd be like, you Brandy. would tackle the girl. I, no, I'd have Brandy tackle her because I can't tackle her. Just keep her. talking, David. Yeah, I wouldn't tackle her. I'd be like, Brandy, tackle her. It's the mistress, and you know, I don't think she would either. But why would you not be tackling the groom? Oh, well, he's going to get hurt regardless. Hurt? So, oh, he's yeah, the but, one that hurt everybody. Oh, yeah, but he's, I mean, think about what she's going to bring down on him later. Who? I want to know what happened after. Yeah, I know. It doesn't the, say what happened The one after. that was supposed to get married, the, the like, let, you know, his actual wife-to-be. Wife? I want to know how she handled it. Yeah, I would say bye bye and walk out, I think. I know. I, you say that, you never know what you're going to do during yeah, the experiment. That is terrible. But... You're blaming the mistress here? You don't think the groom no, no, is no, at no. the root no, of no, the no. problem? The, the groom is definitely the one to be held responsible. But in the meantime, I try to get the mistress out of this scene. You know By I mean? having Brandy tackle her. I'd be like, Brandy, get her. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, tell us what you think, what you would do. Oof. I'm a firm believer that just be honest because anything that you're hiding is eventually oh. going to come out. It's going to make its, its way It's going to come out eventually. And, and your mistress might show up at the wedding with a... Bride, or, You're making yeah. this very uncomfortable for your <laughs> wife and her family and friends. Ooh, the family. All yes. right, moving on. Well, we've all seen, <laughs> David's been talking about his knee shorts at the gym, but we've all seen some interesting outfits at the gym. A woman claims she got kicked out because her crop top was confusing and distracting to men. Now, here is a picture of her outfit. A staff member approached her and said she couldn't wear just a sports bra. Now, she says she's been attending the gym in Germany for the last couple years. So this is not something new. What do you think about that outfit? Uh, it looks perfectly chill to me. Yeah, it's not that, not that um, risque, is I, it? I've seen definitely, you know, I've seen girls just work out in their sports bras. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think. Okay, so let's talk about gym outfits. All right. Do you go over to the gym? <laughs> Be real with me. Yeah, you know, usually I'm working out just, just shorts, no shirt. That's just, <laughs> no, no. You know, I, I do see girls, though, that will wear very, like, um, oh, exposed outfits. And, uh, you know, it's their business, whatever. 
but um, it can definitely cause probably more attention, but they might want that attention. Or they might be taking Instagram pictures, you know, trying to do whatever. Or so, tender pictures. Or tender pictures, whatever it may be. I say, hey, if it's not hurting anybody, let them do their thing. But it might also not be like appropriate for the full, you know, if you're at like the YMCA, for example, and you're just wearing this like, you know, uh, exposing outfit, you might, it might not be appropriate. You might have kids running around. Right. But or uh, the men. Okay, so. Okay. But men usually are just wearing like a t shirt, maybe a cut off. Listen, nothing I hate more. Okay, no, I do hate other things. <laughs> like when men wear those tank tops yeah. that have like the entire armpits cut out. Yeah. So basically it's just like a T right here. Right. Why are you even wearing anything? Showing what does off that the muscles. Do? Shows off is the that, muscles. So, okay, so this is That's what the what conversation it's about. is. All right. Listen, when I go to the gym, and this has nothing, I'm not speaking for all women. I have such huge muscles. I feel like <laughs> I need to cover them. Now, so I don't. I, I don't dress okay. very um, risque at the okay, gym. Okay. Like I'm actually probably the big slob that would wear <laughs> sweatpants and a huge oversized shirt. Yeah, the rocky. Because, but this is why. I I think these girls have amazing bodies. I think they look gorgeous. I don't get the comfort level yeah. in that. Like yeah. some of those outfits, I look at and I'm like. I don't even think I could lay on the couch at home and yeah. be comfortable. And here you're supposed to be working out. So for whatever reason, hey, more power to you. Wear them. I think do your thing. But, you know, I think that some people are going to feel comfortable in the sweats. Some people are going to feel comfortable in the whatever. But that girl, I cannot believe yeah, she that's got not kicked risky. out. Because that well, was nothing. This is what it is all leading to. Mm -hmm. Gyms are private places. You're right. allowed to have a dress code, right? That's true. So the interesting story, I think, in this is she's been going to this gym for two years. Yeah. It doesn't say in the story whether or not she's been showing some skin all of those two years or if this was a new experiment right. for a one inch of midriff. <laughs> yeah. But the gym's allowed to say no, right? Yeah, I think so, you know, because maybe they put in a new policy. But they didn't talk about that and they didn't rebut it. Or maybe it was always a policy. Do That's you true. think that people, sh like, it's, it's kind of like when the more skin, the more sweat. Yeah. Is how I feel. Oh, no. Like, no. if you're showing skin like that and you're leaning on things, oh, then yeah. there's like getting sweaty and some people don't clean up and it's just too That's many body true. fluids. That's, yeah. I mean, we, we usually, my buddy and I, we're wearing sweatshirts mostly in there because you sweat more that way. I think when people are wearing those little skimpy outfits, they're trying to show off. Well, you have new shorts, and they're probably pretty short. Hashtag TJs. Let us know what you think. There's a lot of different questions raised in this. Has the gym allowed to say no? Mm -hmm. Is it her fault that the guys are distracted? Yeah, that's ridiculous. No. It, I mean, let us know what you think. It's on Facebook. All right, here's something. Speaking of being annoyed, sometimes we all have that coworker that does something that just gets under our skin, and while some annoyances are just tactless, Others are due to maturity of, or level of care. Now, here are a few examples of the latter. David, take it away. So, hogging the bathroom for social reasons. So, you know, if, like, they're just in there texting. Uh, <laughs> I love this part. You know, like, using Tinder while they're on the toilet. That happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> want to know who's doing that. Everyone. Swipe, 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 Everyone. wipe, swipe, wipe. <laughs> <laughs> there was, in the story, I guess, one of the... Um, people that complained about their coworker doing this, they put a Do paper not. up on the mirror that Got said, real. don't swipe, just wipe, <laughs> but whatever. I All right, it. so that one. Yep, next we've got paying attention to your phone, not the people you're with. That's everywhere, right? Yeah, oh, that's so our society right well, now. Well, we're all very important, so we need to take care of what's happening on our phone first. True, I like this next one. Okay. Faking to get pre pref preferential treatment for example, saying that you have health concerns that require you to have, you know, like a window. Ooh, I like that one. I need a window. <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're like, if I don't get that vitamin D sunlight, I just, I'll, I'll become so frail. I need Well, it. and they talk about, you know, some people wanting to just have their pets at work. Oh. So they say that they need this emotional support animal. Yeah, that's me. You better watch out that's with that me. chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> that chinchilla. <laughs> Number four, you're, this one you do need to watch out for, David. Bring in stinky fitness gear into the workstation. Who said, is doing you, this? You, you already <laughs> said that you wear sweatshirts so that you can sweat more. I don't wear them then to work. I just, you know, I shower people. All right. It's a new thing I'm trying. Last, we've got overloading your workspace with personal belongings. Like shoes. I do this. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. <laughs> 
<laughs> just shoes everywhere. Yeah, in there it talks about like this one lady has shoes. Listen, I have like an entire closet of shoes under my desk. <laughs> I try to keep it under control. Well, you guys are always running around like t to the next, you know, whether it's the next show. The next you room. Yeah. You, you don't want to wear vain heels when you're going from room to room. It's, uh, yeah. You I guys, like you have to have a wardrobe. Well, I this, like. this, I, we need to talk about this, I think, a little bit longer. And I would love for you to go on Facebook and tell us who, well, not who, don't call out <laughs> names. We don't need any laws. <laughs> don't tag anybody what in that What kind post. of behaviors annoy you at work and how they should be addressed? Mm -hmm. Because it's not like, it, it's somewhere you spend more time almost than home. Totally. So when, people act like it's home. It's like your family, basically. Yeah. yeah. But. These are not family members that you have chosen, and there's a level of tact that well, you have to. I, that, that's exactly what I was going to hit. I want to know what people do about it. Like, when you have that person that shows up with, you know, I've seen in offices, like, food, you oh, know. Yeah.